Hey guys, it's Jen here from Nails by Jen. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome to my channel. So today's video is a little tutorial in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So I wanted to do a design that you could absolutely implement in your salon. I wanted to make it a little bit simple. Now there is a few layers and there is some hand painting, but this is what I came up with and I hope that you enjoy it. So if this is something that you're interested in, stick around, keep watching. As always, don't forget to click that like and subscribe for me. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below and let's get started. All right guys, so for this design, you are going to essentially need a pink and a white. Now I don't have a pink in my collection that I'm quite happy with what I'm looking for so I'm actually going to end up mixing to see if I can achieve the pink that I'm looking for so I'm going to be mixing these three colors so I've got this one here from Madame Glam called OMG pink then I've got this other one from Madame Glam called daddy's girl and I've also got this new one that I just purchased from Madame Glam called Mother Checker. So the pink here is just too bright. This one is obviously more purple. And then this is a red. So I'm hoping if I combine all three of them, I will come up with the most perfect pink. So I've got those. And then I have also got the perfect white from Madame Glam. And I'm going to be also utilizing some of their black to do some detail work. So I've got perfect black. And then you are going to need a chrome. I'm using the Coco and Claire Signature KNC color. Now this one has a bit of a pink hue to it. So when you do put it over pinks, it's amazing. So in the jar, you can't really tell. It looks just like a regular chrome. But as I turn, if you look a little bit on the sides here, you will see it kind of picks up a little that pink and gold. So that's the one we're going to be using. Now they have two other ones as well that are really really nice but they these this one here just picks up more on that pink hue so obviously going for breast cancer month we are wanting to stick with the pinks and then you're going to need something um, very very fine a very very fine iridescent to do the little sugar design that we're going to be doing with the pink ribbon so I've got this one here it's a super super fine iridescent and of course, you are going to need something to rub your chrome in. So I've got, again, the Coco and Claire silicone tool that came in the kit that I purchased. So some type of a silicone tool I find works really well to rub in the chromes. You can also use a makeup applicator. You can use a little finger condom or I don't know what everybody else calls them, but those little finger condoms, that's what I call them. And you're going to need some type of a detailer brush. I just have this one from eBay that I really, really like. The problem is I've been using it for my leopard print. So if you look really close, you can see the tip is actually bent slightly. I don't know if it'll focus there, but because when I do my leopard print, I actually do a dotting method. So I've kind of wrecked this one, but I'm gonna use it anyways. I still use it, but you just need some type of a zero zero or a triple zero detailer. And then obviously I'm going to need some type of a palette to mix my colors. I really like this palette knife that I got on eBay. It's a number five. Um, it's very flexible and I really like it for mixing colors. So I'm going to use that guy. And then top coat, of course, I'm doing all shiny this time and I'm using my trusty, trusty Young Nail Stain Resistant. That's the one that I love for my clients. Now, I'm not gonna use that in this video because I still have an old one that I'm getting rid of, so I will use that one so I don't waste this one and I can just continue to use that one on my clients. And then I'm actually going to use my little pumpkin um, tip holder for practicing on. I haven't used this yet and I got it a little while ago. I normally really prefer to do tutorials using swatch sticks because I can hold the handle, um, particularly when I'm doing acrylic because then I can hold the handle when I'm filing, but I'm not doing any acrylic. This is just gel polish design today. So I'm going to use this cute little thing because I haven't used it yet and I love it. 
And that is it for all the product. So let's get into the design. So let's start off by creating the colors. So essentially we're going to be doing a gradient. So we're going to start with the darkest pink and then we're going to add some white and some white and some white and some white, obviously ending with the lightest pink. So you're going to need, you know, a decent amount to start with because you're going to essentially use that first main color, that first darkest pink, and you're just going to keep adding white to it. So I'm going to make a good amount so I'm going to put a couple of blobs of that pink because I do want that to be the main color. And then I'm going to go in with this um, Daddy's Girl and just see what happens when I just mix those two together. If it kind of comes up with more of a pink that I'm looking for and if I even need to add the red. So I am kind of digging that actually just the way that it is. I may not even add the red. So I may. Yeah, I think. I'm loving that. It's a beautiful like fuchsia brighter pink. So I'm just going to wipe it on the paper towel here just to get an idea of how bright it is. It is still pretty bright but you know what with the chrome on top I think it's going to be very cool. So I might add just a little bit more of that daddy's girl. This bottle is almost empty but I do have another Another one on deck because it's an amazing color. You definitely, if you do not have Daddy's Girl, you definitely need to get it. So let's see here. Oh, oh, I might have added too much. Let's see, let's see. Nope. That is, I think, exactly, yes, that is exactly what I was going for. So just a darker kind of pink color. All right, so basically now... I am going to take some of this and I need to make five more colors essentially. So I'm going to take some here, some here, and less and less because obviously the light the last color is going to be very light with mostly um, mostly uh, white. All right, so again, I'm just going to wipe my palette knife, get that clean. Let me grab a, a wet wipe to really get that clean. And then I am going to take a little bit more off of here too, because I don't need that much there. I'm going to add, so no white is going into the first one. We're going to add a little bit of white to the second one and blend that and see what we've got. Okay, and then we want to add more, even more white to the next one. So I've got one blob, maybe I'll do a second blob. Check that out, mix that around, see what we've got. It's not quite enough white because it's way too close to that second one. So we've lightened up some, yeah, we've definitely lightened up compared to this one. But I'm wondering if I should do a little bit more just so that there's just a bit more of a difference. Okay, now this next one has to be even lighter. So we're going to do, it's pretty much going to be more white now than it is going to be pink. You know what, I'm going to take some of that out. Just so that I don't have to put so much white. Okay. Let's see what we've got. So it's definitely lighter. You can see that gradient effect happening. And then this one, you know what? I'm going to take pretty much almost all of that color out and put it back on the first blob and add white to that one. And this one is going to be the lightest color. Still need some more. And 
you know what? I might take a little bit of this. Just a little. Let's see if it's too close to that one maybe now. So you just have to play around and add colors. Obviously you don't want to be wasting color too much so try to be as, you know, li use as little as possible but we just want to make sure we have a good gradient. So I think we're pretty good. Might add just a little bit to this one to make this one just a smidgen darker. I think that that is pretty good. We've got a pretty good gradient going on here. You know, you don't want them to be too close in color. But don't forget, we're going to put the chrome on top as well. So we're going to start off by painting each of our tip with each color. Um, now this is my absolute favorite brush right now, the Fusion Number no. 2 Oval. It's a very small brush, but it is super, super fine. Again, this was in my top five favorites for September. If you have not watched that video, you definitely need to do so. So I do not clean my brushes out with alcohol or acetone or anything like that. Whatever color I used, I just squeeze it between um, we'll say, you know, paper towel or um, a wipe like this. I just kind of squeeze the color out as best as I can. And then I will st go in straight to the next color. So when you start painting with the next color, what you'll start noticing is as you're using it, the old color will surface. It'll start coming to the top. So as I'm painting on this new color, which we'll have to do a couple of coats because it's a little bit on the transparent side because that neon pink was quite transparent. Um, I'm going to paint on two coats of this. Now what you will see is, can you see there's a little bit of like white kind of come here? So what, what I will do is, depending on the color, if it's something that I can blend in like that, I'll just flip it over and blend it in. If I know that it's not going to be an issue to blend that color in, like that little bit of white wasn't going to make a difference when I'm painting this. Um, on so that was fine but if it wasn't if that color say was like neon green or yellow or something like that and I did not want that to you know get in the mix I would just simply flip my brush over and give it a wipe on the paper towel to remove that old color so again I'm just scooping up some of that gel polish and then we're just going to give it a single coat cure it for the full 60 seconds and then I'm going to do a second layer on it and I'm going to do the exact same thing with each tip. I'm just going to go through each color. All right, so I'm now going to go in with that second coat of that first color. And I'm going to have to scrape some of it up because I'm running out. I didn't quite make Okay, so you see? You see how the white is pooling at the top there? I'm going to wipe that off because I don't have very much of this pink. I don't want to blend that white in there. I want to make sure that I get... Well, it's not white. It's actually from the last pink. That lightest pink color is what that is. So I just want to make sure, there it is again, it's pushing through, wipe it off. I'm just going to go down the line and do the second coat exactly the same with all of the colors. The last one is not going to have the chrome on the entire nail. I'm going to do that little pumpkin in chrome. So this one, it's probably going to be the hardest one to get a nice coverage because it's the lightest of the pinks, but you want to try and see if you can get some nice coverage as good as you can, make it as smooth as possible because we're not going to be hiding it with anything. And the the best way is to try to touch it when you're pulling the, the gel polish. Try to have as light of a touch as possible. 
And then maybe just give it a minute and let it settle just so it kind of maybe levels out a little bit dependent on your product and what product line you're using. Some of them self level a lot nicer than others. So I'm going to get that in the all light. Right, so here you can see we've got all five of the colors and they are a nice gradient starting with that darker, darkest pink moving into the lighter pink, lighter, 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 and super light. Now, I forgot to mention in the um, product section that you are gonna need some type of a no wipe top coat to add your chrome. So I've just got this one here from Kiara Sky. So now I am going to add the chrome to all four of these ones, and I'm going to leave this one out because I'm going to paint the little pumpkin on there. to get a good even coat on those and then cure them all for 60 seconds. So the next thing we're going to work on is actually the little pumpkin. So I am going to utilize basically what I have left on my palette. I am going to utilize that um, to do the design. Now there's not a lot there but I figure if I kind of just take and scrape a little bit from these three here it'll give me just enough to do that little pump yump -be yumpkin so I'm going to go in with my brush and we're going to do that pumpkin that everybody paints the kind of off the side quarter pump half pumpkin we're going to do it like this and like this and then obviously the whole rest of the bottom of the nail is going to be that color Now we're also going to be doing a little bit of shadowing or um, highlights so if it doesn't cover absolutely perfect or if you've got some like streaks of color like you can kind of see on this one there's some little bit of like streaking the color is different that's okay because it's a pumpkin so the only thing I would say is if you're going to create streaks don't create them straight up and down create them with a little bit of curvature to them because the pumpkin is round so go through paint your color on I'm just gonna scrape this guy together here so I can get a little bit of a pile of it so I can get it up on here. Get it all on so you can get all your color on and then if you want to kind of create streaks, you can just kind of go like that. Go in that direction where you push your brush down a little harder and you're just kind of creating little streaks in the color and then get that in the light. Now this brush I do actually clean with acetone. My gel brushes for nail art, I do find I go through them a lot. That's why I tend to buy the cheap ones from eBay because I find that trying to do the same method as I do with my color brush, like my painting brush, it, it doesn't work as well because it's not flat. So you can't really push and then have the color come to the top. Like it just doesn't work as well. So if anybody has any tips or tricks to keeping your detailer brushes in really good shape with gel polishes, let me know in the comment section below. I would love to know what your trick is. All right, so now I'm going to go in and I'm actually going to add a tiny, the tiniest, tiniest little bit of black. Well, that might be too tiny, but we'll see here. Um, to this pink, I'm going to make it just a little bit on the like grayish pink side. Now, ideally, I would actually like to, let me see, I'm going to grab this color here too, because I want it to just be a little bit darker for that outlined part. So I just want to make sort of a grayish, um, pink color, if that makes sense. And I'm going, that might not even be dark enough. I might need to add a little bit more black. I don't want it too gray. Let me see what happens here. Yeah, see, it's really, really gray now. You know what? We're just going to go with it. So I'm going to outline this. like so and outline this same way very thin lines 
and then I'm going to draw the design on like to create those the curvature of the pumpkin so you start here and go down and then go here and go down and same thing we're gonna go on this side down and like that so then you've got your little pumpkin I'm gonna clean off my brush and now because I pretty much don't have any of that light lightest color left I'm just gonna grab a little dollop of white here and make a very very light and I'm going to add a little bit of alcohol to it to thin it out just a little bit here I'm going to make a light pink and this is what I'm going to use to add some of the little bits of highlights um, inside here. So you're just going to kind of feather that out a little bit. And if your um, gel polish starts to dry up, like the alcohol starts to evaporate, just kind of wet it again with some more alcohol. So just a little like that. Same thing here, we're just gonna kind of pull it down. We're just creating a little bit of a highlight on that pumpkin. And I mean, you could even skip this step, step to be honest. If you just wanted to go straight in with that chrome, you really could. I think this just adds a little tiny bit of detail that you wouldn't really notice if you didn't do it, I guess. <laughs> I just like to add a little bit of extra zhuzh. And uh, sometimes I like to add like a little line here as well. Just like that. And then I'm going to cure that. Okay, you guys. So I forgot to press record on this last part, which was the most important part. So I created my little stem in the shape of the breast cancer ribbon. So I just took some of that gray color. I mixed it in with this color here to make sort of a medium grayish pink and I just painted on that ribbon just like that at sort of a slight angle so you can see it there I apologize you guys I don't know how I forgot to press record but I did so I'm just going to get that in the light and give it a little cure just for 10 seconds or so just to set it flash cure it and then I'm also going to paint on that little kind of curly I don't know whatever it is that comes out of a pumpkin <laughs> It's a little curly bit that comes out of the pumpkin and I'm going to use the dark, um, the darker gray that we made, the darker pinkish gray that we made for that. So that's just going to come out here like this. I'm going to just do a little fine curl, which essentially is kind of like another tiny ribbon. So I'm going to put that in the light and that's going to get a final cure we're going to do a full 60 seconds just to make sure everything is good and cured all right so now what i want to do is actually wipe the nail because i do not want any chrome accidentally to get stuck to this tacky layer of that pink there so i am going to wipe this give it a good wipe and then we're going to apply our tack free kiara sky I'm going to put a little dabble on the palette because I am going to have to paint over that part there and the little curly cue. but for the other part I can just use my brush so I'm just going to apply. Now it does not have to be super thick or anything you just want it to be even and you want to make sure you know that you're covering that entire pumpkin because that's going to have that beautiful chrome And actually, you know what I've decided? I'm gonna actually, again, <laughs> you guys, I know I'm always changing my mind with things. I am actually, and I wish I wouldn't have cleaned off that palette because I want that, um, I want that ribbon to kind of stand out on its own. I don't know if I wanna chrome it or not. Like, I wonder if you'll lose some of that detail when I chrome. I think I will. So what I'm going to do is chrome this pumpkin here and then I'm going to remake that color. I'm just going to mix up another batch of it or whatever and I'm going to repaint over top at the end after the chrome 
um, after I put the chrome on. So I'm going to get that in the light and cure that for one minute. And then at the same time, I'm going to top, I'm going to start chroming these guys because they've already got the And isn't that pretty? So, so pretty. So I'm gonna grab the pumpkin one now because it's done curing. We're gonna just kind of bounce back to that guy. I'm going to apply that chrome onto the beautiful little pumpy umpy umpkin. What is that from? Pumpy umpy umpkin. Something. <laughs> I think it's something people sing to their kids maybe? I have no idea why I know that, but it's Probably somewhere on some TikTok or something like that. So try not to rub it onto the um, the light color because it still might stick. Yeah, see, it's stuck there. So I'm gonna have to get some, get a little brush. I'm just gonna use this one and some alcohol and just kind of wipe that away because I do not want that chrome on the light pink. So that's a really good reason to use a silicone tool because you can get a little more detail. But look at that. Isn't that cool? I absolutely love that. And yes, I was right. You kind of lose the detail a little bit of that. So I am going to go back in and redo that um, ribbon stem. And I just want to get this little fuzz off of there. I think there's a little fuzzy on there. Yep. Yeah. So I'm going to redo that stem, but I'm just going to go through and finish chroming the rest of these guys. All right, so I need to go back and redo that stem. You know what's funny? As I was wiping off that palette, I was thinking in my mind, oh, you probably shouldn't get rid of it yet, just in case. Always listen to your gut, girls. All right, so I'm just gonna mix up a little batch nothing I don't I need like a, like the tiniest tiniest amount I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna go back over those lines that I already created basically and do it again yeah it definitely stands out so much more on top of the chrome and we want that to stand out that's you know the main thing I'm gonna actually go in also with some white and highlight that little ribbon just so it stands out even more so I'm gonna stick that in there give her a cure all right and now I'm going to take some of that white a very 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 small amount and get rid of the fuzz that's on it and I'm going to go on that ribbon. Just like this. And then I'm going to come down on this side as well, on the outer kind of corner. Like that. See how it just kind of highlights it just a little bit. I think that's perfect. All right, I'm going to cure that. So that's the pinky nail. And I wanted to do it on the pinky because the pinky was, that's, it was the lightest one. I wanted that um, pumpkin to really show. So now I'm going to go onto the pointer finger and I'm going to top coat it because we're going to do a sugar nail. I'm just gonna actually make this color lighter because that nail is darker. Uh, I'm going to add some more white to this. All right, so I am going to give this a good wipe, get that tacky layer off of there. Squeak her down. Get my tip on there better because it's starting to get a little wobbly. And now I'm going to paint my ribbon. So I'm going to do my ribbon this angle like that. So I'm going to kind of come off of here like so. 
and come down like that. And then if you want, just go back and kind of refine that side. And I actually like when it's thinner in one of these corners, see how it kind of comes to a thin part there? That just makes it look like a, like more of a realistic ribbon. And then I'm just going to pull this off of the side a little bit so that it kind of looks as though it's still kind of going off of the side. And then I don't mind um, leaving this at a point. Some people like to make it that sort of like as if it's a ribbon that was cut off, um, which you could do that as well. So how you, I, I can do that and show you guys, but either way is fine if you wanna leave it as a point or you wanna have it look like an actual ribbon. If you want it to look like an actual ribbon, you would just kind of come to a end like that. So I'll leave that now because, well, I've done it, so let's leave it. I might just kind of refine it a little bit more. So now we're going to get that good old sugar dust. I'm going to take it off my little pumpkin and I'm going to sprinkle all that sugar on there. Or glitter, it's not sugar. And I am going to reuse this. I'm not wasting that sparkle. I'm just going to tip the, um, tip the paper towel back into the jar. And there we go, that guy is all sparkly. So I'm going to get that into the light, cure that for the full 60 seconds. And then I'm going to top coat the rest of these nails. You know what, I'm gonna use the Kiara Sky. Because it's tack free, I'm just gonna use the Kiara Sky. I've got it out. I've just put them all on this little, on this little tab here so that I can just top coat them all really well. And then get them all in the light at the same time. I would top coat on a client with chromes. I would always do two coats. I'm not going to do two coats because I'm not working on a client. But I would generally do two coats. So I'm going to 60 second cure that guy. Now let's dust off this one. And look at that. Such a simple design, honestly. Now obviously, if you have clients who do not like the feel or the texture of sugar nails, you could go over this and top coat it a couple of times or just tell them not to get the sugar part, honestly. Okay, I'm going to clean this up now. All right, you guys, so there you have it. Another little tutorial for you. I know that I was all over the place in this video. I am so sorry, but as you know, 99% of the time, I am just winging it, and that's exactly what I was doing in this video. So I just wanted to say, if anyone out there watching has been affected by breast cancer, I just want to send out some love and good energy to you. I personally have not been affected by it, but I can only imagine how difficult it is. So I definitely want to send out some hugs to you all. Now if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to share it with someone else. If you have any questions or comments leave them in the comment section below and as always guys have an amazing day.